Oh, crash! Oh. Guys, I just did my first ever manual mode flight. Oh. This is one of the products that I have been so excited to try out, but at the same time dreading to open. This is the DJI FPV combo. That's right, I've really wanted to get into flying FPV drones, but I'm scared out of my mind about crashing this guy because if I crash it, it's a lot of money down the drain. And this box has literally been just sitting in my office on the floor because I felt too much anxiety to open up the box and start flying. But today I've decided I need to pull up my big boy pants, open up the FPV drone, start flying the simulator, get into it, so that eventually I can actually start flying and get some cinematic shots. Shall we do an unboxing? Let's go for it. Got my trusty knife. I've always loved the packaging of the DJI boxes. It has a very, you know, Apple feel to it. It's clean and it's sleek. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> that is one boss goggle headset and here is the drone. Ooh, look at that. Nice. We got the drone. Ooh, that looks sleek. And what else do we got underneath? There is more. Got the controller, got the B propellers. And we got the A propellers. Different colored top shell if you want to have this like bright neon green, which I don't know if I do, but and cables, cables, more cables, and a whole bunch of other cables. We got a charger and the goggle head strap. All of this stuff came in that box. Now we gotta figure out how to use it all. All right, so I think we're gonna get everything charged up. I'm gonna download the DJI simulator onto my MacBook Pro, and we're gonna do a whole heck of a lot of simulation and flying because I do not want to crash this thing, so I want to get comfortable with how flying an FPV drone feels. Because it's different than when you're flying with just a normal DJI drone. It's a whole different feel, the controllers work differently, so I want to get comfortable with that. And once I feel confident, then we're gonna head outside. And if I could even get one flight in today or this week, I am a happy camper. Step number one is just getting over my anxiety of just opening this box, figuring it all out, and yeah. Best of luck to me on this journey. All right, step number one is done. I've done the unboxing, I've put everything to charge, and I'm feeling better. I think often when you're feeling anxiety about something, the first step is just to begin, and you just take one step at a time, so uh, I think it's next time to download the flight simulator and uh, Get familiar with that. Oh, what a beautiful mess, but a beautiful sight. Controllers charging, goggle battery packs charging, batteries charging. We're gonna be flying soon. All right, time to put the propellers on. And if you're like me, don't feel like an idiot. I was trying to figure out, how do you know which one goes on which? Well, it's got a little red circle right there. And they beautifully have them marked red here. So red circle goes here, non red circle goes on without the circle. It's a learning curve whenever you're trying a new product out. I'm just being blatantly honest with you guys. <music> guys, tell me how does this goggle set look on me? Ooh. I need to loosen up a little bit on the front here, but dang. Feels cool. I feel like I'm already getting to this FPV vibe right here. While I wait for all the batteries to charge, I thought I'd watch some, you know, tutorials and just videos of other people playing with the FPV just to get familiar with all of this. All right, update. Got everything charged up. So we're gonna connect the little battery pack to the headset. It's the first time doing this, so bear with me. Learning curve, here we go. And I'm gonna press the power and lift off. Wow, these things have their own fans and everything. 
Somebody said you gotta activate your drone first, so... All right, I think we gotta try setting this up by activating it first somehow, I guess. So we're gonna put this in here. 38%, 38%. Oh, I just wanted to like try out the simulator and just get into it. There's a lot of setup to get into, but hey, it's worth it. I think uh, whenever you're learning something new, there's some growing pains and you just gotta push through, stay positive, enjoy the ride. Cause it's gonna be a whole lot of fun when I can just swoop through some like trees or just like <laughs> climbing down some mountains. That's why my mind I think it'd be like, but I feel like the first time I'm gonna just be like, <laughs> but hey, gotta start from somewhere. All right, we're at 90% for the firmware update. Come on, let's get to 100%. You can do it, buddy. Believe in you. Let's get this firmware update so we can uh, do some simulator and flying. Oh, there we go, 100% aircraft DJI FPV firmware installed. Third time's a charm. Transform moment. It never gets old. Unable to take off firmware. Let's do this firmware. Another firmware. Safety firmware. Safety first, guys. At some point then, I need to get the little mount from Rotor Riot to put my GoPro on there. That would be pretty sick. Get the GoPro Hero 10 on the FPV drone. This is a day of just updates. Just want to go in and start flying. But good things are worth waiting for, right? I hope so. Got my fancy mic here, which means it's time for some serious business. I wanna give a quick shout out to this episode's sponsor, Motion Array. Because ever since I started as a filmmaker, I have always loved titles and motion graphics, but the truth is I have been horrendous at After Effects and motion, meaning that those kinds of things in my products just felt out of reach until Motion Array came along. With Motion Array, literally there's thousands of premium assets, titles, transitions, motion graphics that you can download and literally just drag and drop into your timeline, change the text, and voila, you are ready. Even in this project, I was using these cool titles to break up the different sections of the episode and I really feel like it just brings that extra spice to the project and it literally took me seconds. Usually in After Effects, it would take me days to just go through, create the project, keyframes, all this stuff. But now having these premium assets, it saves me so much time and it makes my product so much higher quality. But with Motion Array, that's not all. There is more. At Motion Array, they have a whopping 700,000 premium assets, anything from stock video, music files, sound effects, motion graphics, templates, really anything and everything you need to create videos. As well, Motion Array is membership-based, meaning you can either pay monthly or yearly, getting you access to unlimited assets for lifetime. Even if you cancel your membership, you can still keep using those assets and have them in your projects. For the monthly membership, you're gonna be investing a low price of $29.99 per month for unlimited use of all their assets and plugins, or you can do the yearly subscription for $249.99, which comes out to 20 bucks a month. And right now, if you use the link in my description, you'll actually get 50 bucks off the yearly subscription, making it only 200 bucks a year, which is a steal of a deal. And as well, if you're doing this for a business, creating a production company or video company, it's giving a tax write off anyway. So in the end, faster projects, higher quality projects, and you're gonna be saving a whole lot of time in the end. So thank you Motion Array once again for sponsoring this episode. Let's go back to watching me learn how to fly an FPV drone. Hopefully I'll get in the air. Okay, so tip for anyone, don't waste your time trying to get into the app and doing the simulator without turning it all on and activating it and updating the firmware updates. And then I'm hoping once I've done all this, I can get into the simulator and do some flying. Woo! That's it, firmwares are finally installed. Okay, let's try to now do the app. Hopefully now it'll work with the controller because earlier I was having the problem that the controller wasn't really working. Choose any track. Uh, tutorial. Yeah, tutorial is probably a good thing.
apply mastering in M mode with basic functions. Oh my gosh, this is so trippy. What the heck are we doing here? Oh my gosh, this is so trippy. Ooh, I'm like sweating right now. I'm sweating and I'm feeling sick. I need to get some fresh air right now. When uh, Nicholas Crystal was saying that he was feeling really dizzy and sick when he's doing the simulator, he wasn't joking. I, I definitely feel sick right now. I had to, you know, stop for a minute and just get some fresh air. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of work to be done. Let's just say that. So, it's another rainy day here in Finland, which is no surprise here in summertime. But I'm taking this as a sign from the FPV gods that I still have some flight simulator to do before I go out there and fly the FPV drone in the real world. Day one, um, I definitely felt very queasy flying with the goggles on. Uh, I wasn't expecting that because I usually don't get queasy very easily, like even on the trip in Tofino. I was in the boat, I didn't get any motion sickness, I didn't go green. But yesterday when you're wearing the goggles, and especially when you're not good at flying it and you're just like going all over the place, you just get super dizzy. So I found it really helpful just to do the flight simulator without the goggles. And I think that once I get more controlled and better at flying, uh, then I won't feel so sick with the goggles on. But today's day two. We're gonna keep flying with the flight simulator. We're gonna get into the groove of flying FPV manual mode. And then hopefully, if it clears up today or the next day that's clear, I'll first fly in normal mode with the goggles on just to get a feel of seeing it through the goggles. And then I wanna go into manual mode. I wanna do my first voyage with the DJI FPV drone. And that escalated fast. It's very rainy now. So maybe you're wondering why in the world am I sitting in front of the window while flying? Well, I was reading up on some like FPV blogs. They're saying that if you're Breathing in fresh, cold air, it helps with the uh, motion sickness and flying, so I'm trying to help with that. Oh yeah, getting a smooth start, you know. Ooh! <laughs> that was bad, that was a kill. Through there, ooh! Get a little turn around, go down into there. Getting more comfortable, like... Oh, I just crashed in the water, go up, I can go underneath here. Back underneath. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And then through there. Oh, <laughs> crashed. All right, day three of the DJI FPV journey. And I think today might be the day that I actually take this out for a flight. Now, day one was kind of just like setting things up, getting used to the buttons and features and doing a little bit of simulation. Felt very sick, so I was not expecting that. Day two, I got more into the simulator, got more comfortable, figured out how to you know, control the FPV drone, have a little bit more confidence. But today, I really want to take it out into the skies, especially before it starts raining, to get my first flight in. I think that'll be a really exciting moment to see the progression of the ups and downs of learning how to fly an FPV drone. So right now, we're just uh, doing the final charging and once everything's all charged up, we're gonna head outside. We're gonna see how does this FPV drone fly, or more specifically, how do I fly this drone because, because it's ultimately up to me how it flies and let's just hope it doesn't crash because that would be very upsetting if it crashes. Ah, it looks like it's charged enough for me. I can't wait any longer. I'm too excited to go out and try flying with FPV, so three out of four bars, that's good. This FPV stuff takes a lot of space. Whole bag is just that. It's still gotta fit somehow my Gorillapod and the camera that I'm vlogging with in here. All right, we are at our location. This is like a big field, kind of in this middle of the city. So figured having an open space might be nice. And uh, yeah, as long as I just don't go into the river over there, that would be bad too. Plumps into the water. Just gonna set up that PV drone. And then it's time for the first maiden voyage. All right, everything's set up. Guess here goes nothing. First, I'm just gonna lift the drone up into the sky just to get a decent height. At least that was a tip that Maddie gave me. Just go super high and then get into manual mode. That way I have some, you know, 
wiggle room. It's my first time flying with uh, just goggles and stuff, just seeing like, how does it look? Okay, so right now we're just... Cameras like this, this is the home point. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm in the air now, so I think we're gonna go to manual mode. Okay, we're flying. Wow, we're doing our first ever manual flight. Okay, the camera's at like... Oh wow, this is a lot faster than I'm used to. Whew! But I'm doing this, I'm, I'm flying. This is not cinematically beautiful at all, but I'm flying. Oof. I mean, in some ways it's kind of relaxing because you just leave the power, like the throttle at a certain level and it's just gonna, <laughs> I'm just flying really high in the sky right now just cause it's, it's safer. Definitely not used to like the jitteriness. In the simulator, you don't get this like wind jitter and stuff like that. But this is cool. Woof! We're doing it! This is my first flight! It's in no way is it beautiful looking, cinematic looking, but the fact that I got in the air and I'm flying manual is wicked. Low battery. Okay, we got low battery, so... Low battery where? On the... Okay, now it's time to uh, get her home. All right, let's land this guy. And there we have it. <laughs> Guys, I just did my first ever manual mode flight in the FPV drone. Woo! Uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought. I, I mean, I definitely didn't really like get into swooping or doing anything. I just wanted to see how does it feel up in the air. But uh, yeah, we did it. <laughs> oh, I was just, you know, putting the new battery into the FPV drone and my hands were just jittering. So I think I was feeling a little bit of adrenaline there, but oh, successful first flight. Didn't crash the FPV drone, which is super exciting. It's only been 72 hours into this FPV journey and I'm getting there. I mean, in no way is this looking cinematic or good, but the fact that I'm able to start flying in manual mode is, it's a good thing, it's a good thing. All right, let's put this uh, next flight up into the air. <laughs> 